back to with the face glitch here. Uh, today I'm going to be using spices from the sea. I felt like using this today. Uh, it smells so great. Mmm, I really do like this. Um, I also have the aftershave here, and I'll be using that, and I'll be putting that in my den. So it'll be part of what I can do. And I think on this wall, I don't know if you could see. So here on this wall. I think I'm going to be uh, putting up maybe two or three uh, of Chuck Lachance's uh, aftershave racks that he made for the wall. So uh, I'm going to be doing that, I think, soon. Uh, so you might see that there later in a couple of videos uh, going forward. But um, needless to say, uh, I want to talk about some things that I've been experiencing with this new program that I've been uh, trying out testing beta testing it you might have seen some of the images that I've posted it's called mid journey every a lot of people are talking about it there's even YouTube videos if you're interested on how to get started and stuff like that but I'll I'll put uh, some of the images right here and um, we can I'll discuss how they were done and and uh, take you on that journey of discovery like like I would I did and also, I want to talk to you about labels. So, uh, stick around. Don't go away. Okay, so here's the bowl. And uh, we're out of the bowls. They have sold out. As of this particular uh, video, we only have one brush left. So, um, if it's still in stock, go take a look. But the bowls are all gone. And I've notified Alfred um, of that. And, uh, you know, look, uh, we had our run. It was good. And now we wait for the next run. If I get a lot of people that are asking for them, uh, then I'll, I'll set up another run with Alfred and then we'll, we'll go from there. But, um, so that's that. Um, and this is the spices from the sea and let me just open this up there's the soap very easy to put in here let's do that and uh, wow I really had some great feedback from everyone with uh, with this particular release it was very nice uh, here is the soap in the bowl and let me grab my brush and here's wet the face brush let me water this down. I'm going to empty the contents of the brush in the bowl and I'm going to start really slow so let's try to get all the soap on there and then then we can start doing the lather. So here we go. And as we do it boy does that, does that scent escape. Really great. Almost there. Okay. And here we go. <laughs> so let's bring this to the face and do the shave. So I have about six to seven days growth, so let me with the face. And I know this shirt is my, it's pretty wrinkled and it's pretty dilapidated with rips and tears. See the tears? But it's the shirt I wear when I do, it's one of the shirts I wear when I do uh, shaving soap, making shaving soap and after shave in case I get it all over me, which has happened. Um, it doesn't matter. So let me whip the face. I just don't want you to think that I'm a slob. Because once I get this shave done, 
I'm going to uh, put on another shirt and head over to see Mary. So here we go. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if lather gets on this shirt either. Oh boy, look at that. Let's just start doing, oh man, look at that. I'll tell you, I, this one is so nice to use. This one and Brutus, so nice to use, I love them. So, where are you? I know. I had a gentleman ask me, why do you use the same razor all the time? And I said, well, if you find them when you like, why should you use anything else? And I understand it's a review. And I said, look, if I have a hardware razor that no one has used yet and they send me, of course I'm going to do it. But for the time being, I'll use what I like. So, um, I've been using this thing called Mid Journey, and it's it runs off of what they call it. It needs a front end. It's a server that needs an interface to it. And what they did was they used Discord, the service Discord, as the front end. And they, uh, Discord, I think, is a little confusing at first, but once I set it up, which was a pain in the ass, it, it was a logical thing. I mean, it, it, I could see how it worked. And um, creating these images was so much fun exploring this new technology for me and how uh, things relate to what you tell it a verb you know uh, in your text so you you type in slash imagine space and then you just tell it what you wanted to create and uh, you know you could say gorgeous woman Gorgeous blonde woman by a lake, uh, picking flowers from a brook, whatever, whatever you want, you know. And it will, it will do it. It will do it. Now, there are certain, there are certain keywords that will help your, um, your image look better. You know, you can use the word like photo, photograph, photographic or um, and you have uh, different engines you can use you know you could say I want it to look like it was rendered with the real engine or V-Ray or there's a whole lot of them and you can say realistic ultra realistic Like I said, there's a library of commands and things, and people are discovering every day new ways of telling it what it wants, what it what you want, and having it come out the best it can. 
I have uh, subscribed to the service as like a standard, I think it, not what it's, it's like um, $10 a month. I've already, I think in like 10 days, I've already exceeded the number of images I could create with the $10. But that's okay, I can just wait until next month to do it. The next tier is $30 a month. And that allows you to slow down the process, which costs, kind of costs less. And then you, you can actually um, wait a little longer and get more for your buck. They don't allow that on the first tier for $10. Everything is as fast as possible. So you're charged a, a greater amount of time. So that's that. I thought you'd be interested in just seeing some of the work I've done. Okay, man. That's good. Another great shave. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about was I found another label company, which I think I'm going to stay with. And uh, I used to use Vistaprint and they just kept screwing up, screwing up. And I'm like, I'm done with you. And uh, I found this new company not only do they not make mistakes, they have a nice interface that allows you to create, you know, what you want, but um, they also have free delivery, it takes a lot longer, but the cost of uh, getting labels is a lot less. So I'm trying that out. I can, I can see it almost takes two weeks to get labels, which is a long time, but if you if you do it uh, ahead of time, then you should be okay. Wow! Oh boy, that is so awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, and I'm gonna show you. I have uh, some samples on how it, they come to me, like. You see they're like in a little package here. I don't know if anybody has ever seen them before like that, but that's that's how they come, you know? And uh see. So I am uh I'm good with I'm good with labels. Uh it's just uh you know you gotta look to see what's out there. Uh, it, I, I'm glad that this happened because uh, I'm going to lower my costs of my label creation now. So uh, with that, I had a great shave and I hope you have a great shave. And I'll see you next week.